Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nutter Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. Last time we uh, killed off all the Valkyries, we cleared up that side quest, and today we're gonna clear up the uh, the other side bit. So Niflheim, we're gonna take on these three realm pairs. In the meantime, I've been uh, well farming both Muspelheim and Niflheim. You just get enough materials to do this and actually upgrade all of my Valkyrie stuff. There's a few things I want to show before we get started. Um, I figured out how to make the uh, Shattered Gauntlet of Ages do uh, Infinity Gauntlet type of shit. Because if I now use it, this happens. Yep. So those projectiles actually annihilate enemies and cause a hell of a lot of stun damage, but that's not all. If we uh, equip the retribution handle on our axe, which is what I did in the previous episode even, but right after I tried it out, and um, it's not lying about making the axe throws more powerful. Um, according to the description, it makes axe throws more powerful and, uh, well, it doesn't lie because, you know, the axe normally has a sort of a, a drop-off, so gravity takes hold and the axe falls down. Well, with retribution equipped, that doesn't really happen. The axe just says, fuck you to Newton, and just, well, keeps going. Like, forever, I think. I can't really check, but I think it keeps going forever. I can still see, like, a, a slight glimmer, and if I then pull it back... It comes from outer space. So that's what that does. Um, the only downside is that it's some, it takes a bit longer to recall. Because even if you if you put it into the environment, it sometimes takes a while to lodge it loose from the environment. But it makes for a hell of a lot of uh, fun. Um, with that done, I think, yeah, my Infinity Gauntlet has recharged as well. Kind of masked that. Let's go into the first realm there. So the realm there's over here are supposed to house Ivaldi's secrets. Um, I'm quite confident in my abilities right now, so I think this might be okay. Let's try it out nonetheless. Okay, that's just an ogre. Oh! There we go. Well, let's just do this. Oh god. Yeah, the realm shift sometimes just happens. I'm just gonna take out this guy, because I'm gonna be able to grab him then. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just three tools, and then I can use this one to smack the other ones with, I suppose. And there we go. All three trolls taken care of. Is that it? Seems like Very that was it. Lives. I'm kind of surprised you made it out of that one. Y you are? I mean, Muspelheim was a bit more difficult than that. There we go. What does what does that get us? The Gift of Apollo, heavy runic attack, temporarily enhances the Blades of Chaos so that every hit gives Kratos a small amount of health. Interesting. And it does extra damage apparently as well. Adds a small bonus to normal attacks and further increases the duration, adds a bonus to normal attacks while active, and increases the speed of Kratos' attacks by a small amount. That sounds like... Yeah, it's similar to what we are using with the axe right now, so why not, eh? There we go, upgrade it twice, and equip that. Alright. And then we get Dust of Realms, because, of course, it's in all of the, the realm there's and a bunch of experience in Hacksilver. So, that's the first one. Next up is this one that's 17,500 and one that's 15,000, yeah. So, uh, by the way, the anchors of fog uh, you got from the... Because I, I, I managed to do full circles around Niflheim. You always have the center arena, then one on each side. 
and then at the end in between the one in the end and the one on the side there's always another side area with a boss fight those boss fights did have a chance of getting you an anchor of fog and that's how i got three of those so let's go into this one just gonna let's just use the axe to just go haywire on that bitch And then just focus on one. And there we go, that goes the projectiles. And I sometimes get an explosion because of the Valkyrie key as well. There we go, there goes another one. Oh god. And let's grab her and smack her in the face. Hello bitch. Hello. Hello. Just keep whacking her. And smack. Oh, she just got out of that. There we go. Yeah, another benefit to the retribution handle is that when you pull the axe back, it automatically homes in on enemies close by. So it just goes from one to the other while going back, which is also amazing to get in some uh, extra damage. A flawless sign of the realm. But yeah, by the way, to get that effect on the infinity gauntlet, I used the following gems. It's actually really fitting, so I use Njord's Temporal Stone, I think I got that from the Valkyrie Queen, and that's what gives me the uh, Realm Shift sometimes. So that's kind of the Time Stone, then Anvari's Soul, which is just the Soul Stone, and then Ivaldi's Corrupted Mind we got from Niflheim is of course the Mind Stone, so three Infinity Stones, I think there are a few others that might also work. But uh, let's see what's in here. And then for the next fight, I'm actually gonna try... Ooh, Talisman of Cursed Power. Unleash a wave of cursed mist that instantly weakens all surrounding enemies by lowering their overall stats. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Might be something to use instead of the Infinity Gauntlet then. 30,000 hack silver. Now, I'm gonna use the blades on the next one to see what that health regenerative stuff does. That was the wrong button, but... Yeah, I, yeah, that's not what I expected. Soul Devourer. Oh shit! Didn't expect that. They are level 1 though, for some reason. Just got there, just got there before the, the wolf got me. Uh, there we go, sold the battery down, rip its heart out. And oh, the rest just dies. You did it. You sealed all three of the round tears. How do you feel? My fingers are about to fall. You have come a long way, Atreus. This was no easy feat. You should feel pride. I do. Thank you, Father. Okay. That's positive, I suppose, but they were nearly as hard as Muspelheim, so... There we go. Oh yeah, by the way, with my current gear, I'm actually... Uh, ooh, there we go, Darkness and Fog, so cleared everything in Niflheim. Epic Axe Pommel, Mistborn. Low perk activation chance to grant Healing Mist on any successful hit. Healing Mist regenerates health and increases Runic. I like my Retribution thingy. So I'm just gonna keep that. Let's return to Sindri. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually level 9 with this gear all equipped, so I don't think I can get much higher. 
Um, the reason why I think that is because I haven't found many enchantments that are actually above level 7. Which means, yeah, I can't really get anything much higher because the Valkyrie gear is, I think, the most powerful stuff in the game. Uh, and that's, of course, because today the, the new Game Plus patch came out to uh, get you more fancy gear in another playthrough. But I'm not, not going to be able to gather that in this one. But yeah, all my Valkyrie gear is upgraded to the max. Before tackling the, realm uh, the realm tears are gone, Sindri. Hey, you what? No, you did not. You really did? No way. Yes, huh? It took forever, but we sealed them all up. I don't believe it. The strength you would need. It is no boast. No, I suppose you aren't the type. Well, not much else I can say besides thank you. Evaldi and Sons would thank you too, were they here? And there we go. Evaldi's curse complete. We only got 5,000 experience for that, but yeah. I'm just gonna quickly check his inventory just in case he sells something fancy now. Okay, I just upgraded the uh, the axe pommel we got and that's pretty much it. Um, could also upgrade the talisman, but again, as the older talismans that are higher level, it doesn't have enchantment slots as the infinity gauntlet does. So we're gonna keep the infinity gauntlet even though it's clearly a lower level. With that done, I think that's everything of the side stuff. So I cleared Muspelheim like three times by now just to gather all the materials for the Valkyrie armor. We cleared up Niflheim more times than I can count and cleared out all the treasure inside. We killed all the Valkyries. We, well, helped out all the wayward spirits by either, uh, well, helping them get closure or straight up murdering them. But uh, yeah, that leaves nothing else besides the main story. So it's high time we head back up the mountain Get the rune inside. No, wait. No, wait. Um, that was not how we were going to do that. We were going to go below tier Stample, didn't we? Well, guess I'll see you guys there in a second. I must say, it's been one hell of a ride. I'm at, and I'm actually really glad that I didn't get spoiled for pretty much anything. Especially story-wise. Um, the only thing I kind of got spoiled for was the, uh, the Valkyries. Because that's uh, in one of the trophies and it wasn't really a, a hidden trophy. Um... Okay, so I think we need to head down and then to the back of the temple. There we go. This is pretty much the only door that I can think of that we haven't checked out yet. And this is where the story is leading us. Rune. This is it. Let's open that up. Forms into a very convenient pull lever. Ooh. We're inside. Okay. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Oh yeah, of course. It, it looks like this because it was underwater for a very long time. Never mind. Uh, I think I can use magic arrows to light that. Okay. Didn't really expect. So we're still below... Oh yeah, we're right below the, the tree of the life tree? now. We're underneath the realm travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? And what? What happened Those realm here? Those doors seem to mirror the ones above. Oh. Oh. Are there underwater portals? That would be awesome. Um. Does seem like we need to. Okay. Is this? Nothing in particular, apparently. Oh. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Oh, oh. right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, the weird thing is. Oh, what's behind there? It's upside down. So, because those are the crystals that you use to activate the realms. Can I just climb in there? No. What's, what the hell? Where does this even lead? That, that would just lead outside, wouldn't it? Where is the marker pointing us? It's pointing us here. But there's no prompt. I would think I could boost Atreus up. But I can't do anything here. Do we get... Oh, this opened up as well. Oh, wow, this is bright. 
Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. That red cloth, are we... Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. We're in... Looks like more giant. Yeah. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. Hmm. The mysteries keep stacking up, don't they? Okay. Just gonna walk a bit further here to see if I missed anything. Seems like this just circles back up. Yeah, 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 okay. Center chamber it is. Okay, so there's two big Whoa. statues that? over there. The Hall of Tear. This time I'm actually walking slower. I'm just trying to take everything in. They're holding chains down. And there is that thing. Boy, this is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. Stand back. Is this... What are we gonna do? Are we gonna flip the entire... Oh. This is a hinge, isn't it? This is one giant rotatable point. Oh god, yeah, we're gonna flip the temple. It's moving! What's moving? Everything! What the fuck? Are we Extraordinary? The whole room is built on some kind of axle. Yep. There's chains on both sides. Without those. <laughs> we can flip the temple. Seriously? Okay. What now? Is, isn't Brock or Sindri in the temple? They must have felt that already. Oh, oh things are happening. crap. They don't seem hostile, okay. though. I don't think they're attacking. No, they aren't. Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Okay. What does this do? Ah, not sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course. But it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your night. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Okay, it's a very cool idea, by the way, that you can just flip the entire temple. Um, oh, I think that's our last one. I think that's our last one. Here, boy. Another one. I think it is. It says his name is Bergomir. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. Oh no, that's 10 out of 11. I always go for the labor first, but we get the lore marker after that. A giant king with many, many children looks like he arrived on a sea of blood. And when he died, he left a sea of tears. Dead, but not murdered for once. Indeed. Um... Am I gonna leave those spots there? Of course I'm not gonna leave those spots there. Who do you think I am? Let's open those side rooms first. Because if I've learned anything, there's more stuff on the sides. Again with the death traps. Okay. Is that the same on the other side? I'm just gonna open this one up as well. Yeah, I hear spinning blades. Yup. So. Well, let's go left ah, first, I suppose. Variety is so important. Let's just freeze it upstairs. And then when we get the opening... Oh, fuck my life. I'd have thought, brother. 
Why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this? No. You're enjoying it, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, of course. So if I just circle that one around. And then circle this one around. Alright. Still don't really see a good way out of this. I truly do hate this part. I know. Because I could make a mad dash over there when that happens. But it's a very small window. Um, I'm guessing we're trying this. Ooh. Okay. Spinning room number one down. And we do get health stones in between just in case. Yeah, you get plenty of those just in case you got damaged. Um, winds of hell. So that's two of them. Whoa. Let's just move it around. So I think I need to pull out the winds of hell when it's above. Now we can open up this door. That's a chest for us. I think we're missing one more heavy runic attack. Yeah. There we go. Hyperion Grapple tosses the Blades of Chaos towards an enemy and on contact launches Kratos towards them to inflict a large amount of stun damage. So just, yeah, grab on and boop. Yeah. Sounds cool. But not something I'm going to use. Definitely not with the gift of Apollo Day. Okay, so. I think I cleared up most of them. Just going to need to pull this out so it just stays stationary. Oh, okay. So this one just keeps going left and right. There we go. Time to do what you do, brother. Indeed. Smash bolts. So that red stuff is the explosion that sometimes happens. Read this. Until gods grow good. Could be quite a week. Nah, they're just waiting for us. There's not much more in the uh, in the, the the description of the lore marker. But uh, the gods grow good. Let's open this up first, just in case we uh, lose access to it somehow. Open that bad boy up, and we get... Because usually those are ciphers, but yeah, okay. So, can we just uh, grab this and split this open? Looks like it. There we go. And more power! And that drops down one chain. Okay. What the hell is this? Okay. Oh, great. Are it moving? No. I can actually show what the axe throws now do. This is what the axe throws now do. Of course, these are very low-level enemies. And now we can grab this guy. Rip him apart. Just gonna throw my axe at the, the ogre a bit. Smack. And right, bad boy. Probably immune to the fire right now. Oh, 
Quack, I think I've seen. Yeah, there's two more running around. There goes one. That's in the face, so I got an extra throw. And smack. Seriously? And there we go. It is over. That was a lot of materials, actually. I think I got hit once, yeah. So that should be enough. The music is still going for some reason. So you can uh, halt enemies approach as well with the axe throw now. Oh great. Just trying to keep an eye out. Oh. Boom. There we go. That one goes down as well. Just crossing over. One extra. Two extras. And the charge one in the face. Come. The other chain waits. The other chain waits indeed. And that looks that looks nice. So now the crushing blocks should be uh, similar. Don't know why the gate just closed again. Probably that needs to. Ah, there we go. Didn't get the prompt there the first time. Okay. Okay, so I think I got it, right? There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was that was a bit faster than I anticipated. But uh, we got through it. We got through it. Never mind. I, I feel my heart sinking. I think I felt the wind of that crushing behind me. Braces of the World Serpent. Masterfully crafted offensive armor favoring runic. Well, let's just take a look at it. I'm not going to use it. But yeah, it looks kind of cool. But definitely not going to use it. Um, so there's... Ooh. There's explosive stuff over here. There is definitely stuff on the floor. So if I just... Throw it and then fire at it. Aha! Does it still go up and down? Of course it does. But, if we go on top of it. Okay, we move. Jesus. Would that be enough time for us to head over there? Because I don't see anything else. Does this go up again? It does go up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going a wee bit too slow there. Let's do that again. So, up top, and then just sprint. There we go. I, can't believe we're so close. I for one, never doubted. Right. And then let's read this. Them in peace. Obviously not referring to us. No, definitely not. Let's open this up. Probably going to be another crappy enchantment, but... I think these might be here to give you the rest of the ciphers if you didn't find the other chests. Yeah, symbol of cunning, those are really usually pretty crappy, especially considering the level of the enemies we've seen here. There we go. Open. And smack! Seconds. Chain done, and we're probably gonna get ambushed again. But nothing we can't handle. Oh! Oh, two travelers! Oh, 
Oh, I'm in the fight. I'm in the fight. He's gonna activate the uh, amazing thrill thingies. Take down the first traveler. And then this guy. And there we go. Okay, let's use the axe, because, I mean... And... Bowling ball! And... Smack! Ooh, fire jets. And one, because I'm starting to use uh, a few older of the runic attacks. Let's try this. I am a monster. Time to flip the temple. Yes, sir. Time to flip myself a temple. Flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. It indeed is starting to sound pretty normal. Um, so I think this is the one we need to go back from. This doesn't look like we can get through that, but. Uh, okay. Okay, wasn't so bad after all. Um, I can't do... wait. Then I need to use the elevator to go back up. Ah, now it's available. Never mind. Brothers, I know what I promised. But in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. We are. But, uh, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna take a little break before we flip this temple. Because, uh, yeah, we've uh, we're arrived at uh, half an hour. And I'm guessing this will set off a few other side... Well, not side quests, but uh, just the rest of the main quests. So, before we move on, I'm gonna take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of God of War, where we'll flip a frickin' temple. Goodbye!